Hello and welcome to another room setup video. This is the sick form work room here. And we've got another 25 machines to install. Now as you can see, on the floor here are all of the old computers that we no longer want. They are pretty old and decrepit now. Take them away and get them recycled. And we're replacing them again with these 3030s. So in the previous videos you would have seen the other 25 going in and you would have seen 12 going in the other room as well. And obviously the library. So they're having 25 in here, and let's get a crack in. So I'm going to replace the network cables as well, as before. And obviously we've just put the computers in and set them all up. And I hope you enjoy the video. Network cable, anyone? Anyone for network? Next. Let's do this. Okay, so we've got two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25. Let's set these up then. all of these ones along here done so they've got themselves two four six eight ten twelve machines along here there we are all set up now on this side and uh, I'm gonna carry on over here now and get these ones set up let's do this all right and so they're having five more along here as you just see me unboxing, in a rather speedy hurry. There we go, there's the other ones. So we've just got these left to do over here. So another two, four, six, eight to do. I've also given one to the admin computer, so to replace the old sort of um, administration server for the staff to use. So they've got a nice new one there as well. All the old kit. Well, that's a new one, folks. Got one here with a uh, one of the cables is actually not crimped in correctly. Gold pin is actually poking out. I've not seen that before. Four more to go. The last one! The 25th or actual 26th computer for this room, including the admin computer. And I'm bloody knackered. This is tiring work unboxing these computers. But I've been going as quick as I can. Okay, everybody, there we have it. All 25 new computers for the sixth form students have been installed into their workroom. They look fantastic, as before, and the other rooms, you know, they make such a big difference to um, the teaching ability and also aesthetically, they look a lot nicer, a lot more modern to use. So, the next thing I need to do is obviously set these up in the BIOS again and then just image them. Let them image when they're done, this room will be finished as well. There's all the boxes <laughs> and all the network cables we get. Network. Mm. So now all of them are on the BIOS screen. 
they're all ready to be configured. Let's do that. Okay, next thing you do, get them booted into the pre-executioner environment for MDT. The light touch 64 win. To do that, it's quite simple. You just F12 for the boot menu on these 3030s. Brings up the selection for the hard drive, CD, DVD, and the network interface card. It then looks out on the network for a DHCP server. So the machine can pick an IP address. So the MAC address of the machine there. When this machine is assigned a DHCP address from DHCP on the server, like it has, it then obviously allows you to hit F12 again, and then select your images, and it'll boot from it. There we go. Let's keep going around the room. Okay, that's the five along the front here. Okay, we've got the last two along here. Just picking up IP addresses now. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to log into MDT and then select the task sequence and then obviously image these computers and they'll be set off. Okay, and they're off. All 25 machines plus the admin machines, so 26, are now imaging with MDT and Windows Deployment Services. And it's a waiting game from here, really. We just wait sort of 30 minutes, maybe a little bit less, and they'll all be done. So as you can see, 14 percent with 30 minutes remaining, but it will be quicker than that. And we have multicasting on here, so these ones are just copying the drivers across because they're obviously were set up last. Whereas those ones over there are kind of a third of the way. When your GoPro runs out of battery though, unbelievable. And there we have it, they are all ready to go. Let's go on Impero now and we'll use Impero obviously to finish them off. So I'll use the admin computer here to do that. So that's obviously finished as well with the same image. They're all on the same screen. Let's do that now. Right, so I'll log this in as domain administrator now. All right, so if I connect to our Impero server, uh, as we can see on the sick form list here, we have all 25 computers, so 25 out of 25. So if I uh, select all of them now, so like that, and go admin and then run mimic script on that, hit enter. When I click uh, send script on that, it will say it's valid, and then they will all log on. You can see on the screen there as well, on the admin computer, that obviously says ENT has been sent to it. And there they are, logging in. Finishing off the deployment process and telling us that it's obviously finished successfully. So I pick on one of those just to check. As you can see on their screen there, it deployed successfully. With no issues. What we'll do now is just reboot these. Reboot immediately. They will all restart themselves and then we'll log on as a domain account now. Uh, as you can see they've all gone offline on Impero because they're currently rebooting. And as they start to uh, get ready to be logged into and used and the services start, Impero will start. And then they'll start to check back into Impero console on the server. Let's get in there. Five more to come online. Okay, so now they're all showing up, we'll get them to log on as a uh, domain administrator account. All of them are logged in. Number three is being slow. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and they're all logged on. So that's all 90 of the computers deployed. It took me about two weeks to do them, and obviously all the other maintenance as well. And the server tasks as well. Uh, the contractual work as well for the contractors. Uh, quite a lot's happened over this summer. 
Alright guys, so now that I'm happy with the machines and they're pretty much up and running, ready to go, I want them all to go to a certain website. Now, I want them to go to uh, YouTube and I want them to view one of my videos. So let's click launch. All of the computers should launch it. <laughs> As always guys, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Giga net. I'll see you next time guys. Take care for now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later.